Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. I support work done at the brand new Swamp Works at Kennedy Space Center where advanced concepts for space missions are developed. In this study, also funded by the NASA Innovative Advanced Concept, we look at using regolith, which is the soil found on other worlds in the solar system, to make heat shields for spacecraft. The regolith found on, on rocky planets and asteroids throughout the solar system is very similar to that found on Earth, although it has different characteristics based on how it was formed or what it went through through its evolution. Nevertheless, it is composed mo mostly on silicates and other minerals that contain silica and other metals. The concept here is to look at the feasibility of using that resource and to make heat shield material that will pr protect spacecraft, either returning from space or going to other destination and entering other atmospheres like Mars. What we have found is that the regolith has good enough thermal conductivity properties to actually create a thermal barrier that will survive the re-entry into an oxygen-rich atmosphere and protect the spacecraft behind it. We have fabricated samples from regolith with or without binder and subjected them to uh, arc jet plasma at the Ames Research Center for testing. These tests involved reaching flu heat fluxes as high as that encountered by the space shuttle during a normal re-entry. And these samples have survived and gave us back temperatures that were measured during the test that effectively protect the spacecraft. This is very preliminary work, but the concept is encouraging and we hope that future work will develop these materials to a point where they can effectively be uh, used as heat shield for spacecraft in space. Many hurdles exist to actually make this feasible, particularly in manufacturing these heat shields in space. It requires certain infrastructure, it requires uh, developing new techniques to actually shape, extract the regular, shape it, mold it, and into a, an effective heat shield and attach it to spacecraft. This is all part of a, this advanced concept study and the results of this work will only be possibly applied in a quite distant future, at least 10 or 20 years from now. 
why build spacecraft heat shields in space out of a material like regolith instead of launching them from Earth? The reason is that if we can do this, we can save enormous launch mass out of Earth. A spacecraft coming back from Mars or coming back from an asteroid carrying a precious cargo could possibly stop at a way station, have its heat shield fabricated and affixed to it, and then come back into Earth. This way, you save a lot of payload mass, and you may actually save a lot of uh, cargo space to, to bring back these precious minerals or these precious metals back from space. The concepts funded by the NIAC initiative at NASA are very far-reaching into the future, and they stretch our imagination to conceive what may be possible one day. There is no certainty in what we're doing. It is based on science, but it is stretching the limits. Some of them will find applications for crews in the future 10, 20, 30 years from now in space missions.